hello 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 my friends and welcome back so i've got a couple of videos that I, um that i've done for you guys i'm gonna kind of corral them all together and just make one video because there's a lot of little like short clips so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put all that together watch it enjoy it and i'll be right back hello 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 my friends i'm back well happy tuesday and today, what did I do? Well, I spent my morning with that little one over there <laughs> and shopping, the dreaded grocery shopping. I didn't go like all out because we have enough stuff as far as meat and other products, but we do run out of like veggies and stuff really quick. So you're fine. So what I did is I went and I picked up some stuff from my um, 99 cent store. And so I got some zucchini, some yams, apples, pears, two types of apples, some cabbage, some avocado, carrots, what else? I've got some um, riced broccoli, some bell peppers, um, green onions, got some chopped kale salad. I'm thinking I'm gonna have one of these for lunch. I'm probably gonna go with the honey pecan. That looks pretty good. Those were two dollars each. The Southwest one is pretty good too. Then they have an Asian one that's really good too. The cow one is good too. I don't know. Oh, this is this is. I don't know which one I should have. Oh, let me show you my nail color. If it will, if it will actually zoom. Can you see that? Hold on, y'all. Aha. There we go. My hands are ashy, so don't look at that. But because I just washed them again, you know, when you go shopping, you got to come back in and wash your hands because the Lord only knows what's on those carts. Anyhow, so I picked up some stuff I don't need <laughs> sandwich cookies, which I'm sure the kids will devour that quickly. Got some celery, did need that. Some hefty bags, some glade bags, trash bags. This metallic pro slay, I picked this up because I thought the color was nice let's see if you can see it without the glare can you see that a mm, little bit let me see if I, can. I can't open it to show you yeah that's pretty i like that we'll see so i got that i also got a scrubber some more allergy pills some uh, orange cranberry muffins, bell pepper, like full bell peppers, a Diet Coke. Now these totally spotless. I found these at the dollar store. This is the one with the um, purple and green writing dollar store, 99 cent store, not the Dollar Tree. Um, I go there too, but not for this. Now this feminine stain remover is amazing. You know, every once in a while, ladies, you guys know, every once in a while you have a little issue. So, um, it gets it right out but it also gets out other things as well so um it says blood stains grass mud coffee tea stains sweat and wine and it gets all other stuff too i've used this you know when you have kids they're always doing something so i've used this many times to get out different stains and clothes sheets you name it um now normally in the store from what I remember, I was paying about five to six dollars for a bottle. So to find them at the dollar store was great. So next thing I got was some of this Clorox fragrance. It smells like lavender and eucalyptus. It smells really, really good. I got the Spick and Spin antibacterial cleaner for a nine heavy duty oven cleaner because this oven needs some help. Um, um, I got the Shout Pets. I don't have pets, won't be having pets, but I got that one because um, I think it really works better sometimes than the one that's not formulated for pets for some reason. Anyhow, but there's a couple of like um, wine stains on my stairs from me with me and my wine. So I, I didn't notice it till this morning. So I got to get that out. And also this spotless is going to help with that. If this doesn't do it, I know that will. So I got the lime away as well um, for the toilet and all that. And then I got the coconut uh, nourishing um, hydration Revitalization conditioner. Did I say that right? Revi revitalizing conditioner. Okay. Sulfate free. Um, I picked that up also. 
what else? Paper, forks, plates, spoons. That's a must in this house because I have kids that want to snack every five minutes. And so we need to make sure that I'm not at the sink. You see, there's dishes in my sink. Now, y'all know me already well enough to know I don't like no dishes in my sink. So uh, that was from last night because <coughs> I was just through. I was just ready to get in bed. So hubby was nice enough to wash those over there, but there's some more that's kind of gathered in the sink since then. So I also picked up this um, ring light holder here. It was $4.99, as you can see. And then I also picked up a selfie stick because I'm trying to do better with my life <laughs> with this filming. And then the one I have you guys on right now, I also picked up. It's a different one, the tripod. So I also got that. That was $1.99. So I got this karaoke. Um, karaoke mic for my girls because two of them think they're Mariah Carey so yeah you can hook it up to Bluetooth um, it says color changing LED light four hour playtime rechargeable batteries echo effect so it got a little reverb on there okay okay so I'd rather them use this than be messing with my mics in my studio my half studio half craft room because it's still half and half but anyhow so that's what I picked up from the store oh and then one more thing Oh, and I, I'm almost done painting my walls in here, you guys. Can you see? You see that how bright and pretty it is in here now? Opposed to this ugly color here. What color is that? I don't know what to call it. It's ugly. It's even worse in person. Like right now, it looks like a tan that I'm showing you guys, but I'm looking at it. It looks like a peachy, brownie, nasty. I don't know. I can't stand it. It's got to go. But I got to finish up in here, the top here. I gotta paint that up there. See, I stopped there last night. So I gotta finish that, but I pick, picked up, and I gotta finish that back wall. But I picked up this painting, so you can see it. You see that? Now, I love the beach. Anyone who knows me know I'm a beach bum. I bought this from Ross for $30. Um, I'm a surfer girl, yes. Not, not, not anymore, but I used to be. Uh, love the water, always at, at the beach. Sleep at the beach, eat at the beach party at the beach you name it it went down at the beach <laughs> so um i love the ocean the ocean is my favorite place to be so uh i like this color of the paint of the wall because throughout the day it looks like different colors you know it, like kind of changes as the sun you know i see other windows on that side don't look at the backyard i put that today and then the courtyard there's windows on both sides so the sun comes up on this side of the house goes down on that side of the house oh and i'm also thinking about painting my china cabinet you see that hopefully the color comes up true that was my swap that i did on the china cabinet because i'm thinking about going with that color i just i love my turquoise i do but i just wanted it a little bit darker so i'm thinking about just you know we'll see i might just get another turquoise color or i might go with the one that i swapped right there I'm not sure yet um what did I put up there? I put Mom. some candle sticks up there that I found Mommy. at a yard sale recently on both Mom. sides. Mom. Yes, baby Mom. girl. Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's lipstick. She's this one's always looking at my um. Huh? She's a she's a foo foo girl, so she's always looking to see what kind of makeup, lipstick, and all that I have. So those two cabinets there, I gotta get that one fixed still. Um, but yeah, and then I hung up my sconces up there on the wall. Still working on some other stuff over there. So, a lot of work, you guys. I just, oh, uh, it's not overwhelming, but it is a lot. So, I okay, you guys. So, what I have done is, I like I said, I wanted to paint my china cabinet. Um, but what I did is, I went down to uh, Lowe's and I got a uh, quart size of the blue turquoise Vaspar furniture paint. You see, well, this is actually not the first one I got. The first one I got is the um, Pacific Pleasure color here. Um, it's that like, let's see if you can see it. See that turquoise there? It's that one. Okay, so that was the color there. And then I, after that, I ended up getting the blue turquoise. Now, I tried a swap of this. I'll show you in a minute on the first china cabinet and left it there for about a week just to kind of look at it to me it's too dark um it's too blue it's kind of taking me away from turquoise and going more into like 
blues, which is fine. I have blues in the house, but I really wanted to keep it turquoise. Now this turquoise, after I got it home and swapped it on my cabinet, it's two turquoise. And so what I decided to do was of course combine the two. And these are like $25 each, so it's not cheap. It's only one, one quart, so they're not cheap. So I was like, well, I'm not, I gotta do something with it. So I took half and half and mixed it. And this is the color I got. Um, it's still drying as you can see, but I much rather go with that. So what I did, I've got this container here where I'm going to measure out half and half so that way I get it right, correct, correct um, with the measurements so that it can be the correct color. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna start on my china cabinet. So, come with me. I got y'all on this weird tripod. I don't know if I really like it, but we'll see. Um, let me show you the swap I did. You can see it. Do you see that? So that's the color, the dark turquoise color I did. And then over here on the table this morning, when I mixed them, I did a swap of that right here. It's still drying, but I'm more satisfied with that one. So I have to finish sanding this table. After the girls are gone for school, I'll finish doing that. But in the meantime, I'm going to wipe down Gonna empty out and wipe down the china cabinet behind me. I'll start on that one first. And I'm just gonna do one at a time. The inside of the china cabinet, I think I want it to be the same color as the walls. And I do have some of that paint left, so that's actually good. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and paint the inside of that, the color of the wall, that um, color of the walls. I forgot the name of it. Blew me away by bear. There we go, blew me away. So that is what we're doing this morning. Um, my oldest daughter, who is now 20 years old, I've got a 20 year old, y'all. She is going to be dropping my girls off. She gets paid to drop them off. So thank God I don't have to leave the house right now. So that's nice. So I'm gonna have my little coffee, mix my paint, and then I'm gonna bring you with me. We gonna get started. We get started on this. Me and you, you and me. Okay, so I have my two paints here. I'm gonna open them so you guys can see how pretty they are. They're beautiful colors. Um, I will be using these colors individually, uh, you know, further down the line. But look at that. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? Sorry. All around. So that's the first color. And both colors are beautiful. So I will use, like I said, I will be using them for other things, but to me that was just too, too greeny turquoise for the cabinets. And the cabinets are a little bit actually lighter than this right now, but I don't think they're this greeny. I didn't want to make them that greeny. So what I'll be doing, like I said, is combining the two, which gives me such a lovely color. So I'm gonna be combining these and um, using that. But, you know, when you're mixing paint, you have to be very precise. This is not a guessing game, otherwise you won't get that color again. So, I'm actually, I'm actually going to use a measuring cup because I wanna make sure <laughs> that I'm putting exactly what I think I need to be putting in there. So that's how we're gonna do this process. Okay, then we'll start with the turquoise. I already um, stirred my paints. So worry about that. Now you just see me digging in here, but that's because I already did some stirring.
want that. Give me a hug. Give me a kiss. Uh, the list can go on. So, um, I like to wake up early so I can have time for me. I've been doing this, I'll say, well, around the last couple of weeks, actually. Um, I used to wake up at around 3.30 in the morning, between 3 o'clock, usually 3 on the dot. You know, you wake up at 3 o'clock, go ahead and pray. You know, if you're up at 3, you might as well. So that would be the first thing I do. And then after that, I would go to the craft room and uh, start working on some projects and or homework, <laughs> um, which is usually what I'd be working on, or just sit down and think with, you know, where I was quiet. And just sit there in a quiet room where I can actually hear myself think. And I know that sounds horrible, but when you have a house full of people, sometimes you can't even hear yourself think if you don't take the time to do so. There's so many interference, um, things interfering with that. Your phone is number one. Phone always making some type of noise to alert you for something. So it's always the phone. Then after that, you know, it's, that's just not even people. That's just the phone just notifying you of, you know, advertisements or whatever. And then you have to deal with people actually calling you. Calling and leaving voice messages and all that type of stuff. So if you can take some time for yourself, please do so. So it's important. Um, I mean, that's one of the ways that we are tricked into forgetting who we are is by not spending time with ourselves. Anytime you don't spend time with anybody you're trying to build a relationship with, it's, the relationship is going to suffer. Um, and that goes for you with yourself. So if you're not really spending time trying to better yourself, or understand yourself, learn from yourself, the your relationship will suffer. So I just, I understand that. You know, I lived alone for a good, good eight, nine years of my life. Just, well, I won't say alone. I had my daughter with me, but it was great. They got to learn me. I encourage all women, before you get married to somebody, Live by yourself for at least two years. At the least two years. Get to know you. Fall in love with you before you start falling in love with other people, honey. Please. Please, 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 please. Best thing I could have ever done for myself.
y'all. Sorry, this TV's so loud. I'm gonna turn it down. So the table is still drying. There's a couple of light spots, as you can see. That's actually paint that needs to uh, still dry. It's in the drying process. Um, turned out pretty good. I'm sure I'm gonna walk around it and touch up any spots that may need it. But um, I was gonna show you the, the contrast between this color that I just painted it and the color that it was. So you can see it in the frame there. You can see them together. Let me see if I can zoom out. This color here on this table is the new color I've chosen, the new color of turquoise I've chosen to have in the home. The color there is the color it was before. As you can see, there is a big difference. Um, this one's more greeny. Maybe it's not picking it up, I'm not sure. But this one has a little bit more of a green hue to it. Uh, and that one a little bit more dark, a little bit more blue. I'm almost done with that one over there. So see one side is done. And the other side over here, you can see the little lighter spots. That's because it needs another coat. So the coat on this side, I, I did three coats, I believe. On this side, it came out pretty good. Um, I do still have to do another coat on that side there, as well as the front panel. Um, I'm still uh, in decision. Well, haven't really made it. I still got to do the very bottom as well. As you can see, that's a different color. But that's the color difference. That's T.D. Jakes for those of you who know. You know who it is. For those who don't, T.D. Jakes is a preacher. Good word. Check him out. Um... Yeah, so I need to, I'm trying to decide if I want to paint the insides. You guys don't look at my backyard, it's horrible. Honey needs to get back there this weekend. We'll see, but I'm um, definitely gonna paint the inside of that one, the same color as the walls. Um, I was gonna paint it white, opted out of that just because I feel like it's just too much contrast there as far as, um, I didn't want to stock white because I might want to put some items in there that's actually white. So I figured the safe bet is just to go with the color of the wall to do the back painting in there. So I'm probably going to start on that after I have lunch. Um, and if I do one, I'm <laughs> most likely going to go ahead and do the other. We'll see. We'll see. 